for the same team and guess what? They hijack a grassroots movement. That team is not you. They started silencing you like crazy, putting you in jail, banning your account. Some of them are varied in lawsuits. Marking. Violated the law. And segregating citizens depending on their choices. Nothing was done. Even when people like John Brennan lied before. We're stealing everything. We're ignoring facts to keep you in check. They ignore you. They laugh. Then they attack you. First the guy burned himself. Then the kids did graffiti. Beat an old man and arrested him. All the corruption. All the evil doings. All the kitty issues. The money laundering. The selling of our nation. The use of our federal tax dollars. The Europeans are on their face eating dirt right now. Africa is so confused. On the ground. And they're all looking out from the side of their eyes saying, Yo, America, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? It's insane. Anyone who reported anything that's happening been deemed a conspiracy theorist and pushed. They infiltrated the Trump campaign and they infiltrated one of the most beautiful patriotic days. Infiltrated every facet. To piss you off to the point. Kamala Harris. That you just Hunter don't care. Biden, Joe Biden, Ron Klain. He threatened you live on TV and you didn't even hear it. His staff. How they fooled you all. Let's try working or trusting these completely dishonorable people the pain that you're going to go through is because they no, have betrayed, betrayed you the people that you trusted betrayed you everything you believe you have is an illusion they can convince you of anything everything is crumbling before you going into your brain and making you feel like you have no and way every out. single battle is a slap no across way. your face making you feel like there's nothing the you can do to leave the prison they've made or to even see it as a prison they've got the armor they've got the money the lawyers the media the megaphones our goods, our water, our food, our commodities. You feel trapped. Of it. Like okay, so we've got to take down the corporation. What's the point? Who cares? Why should I fight? They, they're, they're bigger than us. Up against they're Goliath. surrounding us. They're coming from the top. They're casting shadows. We need them. Our media. Our media. disappointment there are mitigation steps always brings you to the right place but the mitigation primarily relies on you the people the only way you learn is if you the walk right through that fire in the swamp they took everything away from you. indicate just how big of an enemy because you were distracted with life I already know how this ends. The thing is, there's got to be things that are done in between. But it's going to be pointless because guess what? We're going to be in the same place in no time flat. I mean, look. The opportunity to stand tall for the people around the world. This is why the United States was designed. To show that individuality together thrives. Because they all have different eyes, different ears, different hearts, different tastes. And this is why this is the most difficult nation to drop. So when you're trying to attack a giant. You guys are ready to take on Goliath. You want to find a tiny stone that attacks them where they're weak. The way to do that is to bring in a Trojan horse. We have laws on our state level. Know them. Get the money. The money was on hold until they completed their investigation. We have laws on our municipal levels. Use them. I said you get federal tax dollars. You're discriminating against my child. See the loopholes. And not only that, I also ding them for not being ADA compliant for the blind on their website. I ding them with everything I could and they couldn't get tax dollars. In your city, you could get shit done yesterday. You have monthly meetings. You don't have to wait for elections to pass a bill. All you have to do is take a hundred of your friends need to, to jump through court hoops and say, I want this on the agenda. You don't need to wait for your state legislator. You don't need to wait for your state senator. You don't need to wait for your stupid governor. You have way more And that's power where they sit down. Then on a federal level. All your little city council members saying, shh, what is going to go on right now? Is, you guys think that, that Goliath is massive, that we can't take down the... Have you guys realized what you've done? What you were doing? You can see the changing face of conservative or alternative media. We are the news, billboards, the letters, the communication. You guys are taking the reins. They hate that they're losing power, that they want to kill you. When you empower everyone else to feel the same and you encourage... And he needs to know more than ever that the people are behind him. You are many. They are few. That organized voice loud together. That's a big deal. You have all the power you need. Be that smart. 
all of it. And from small little fires, going in a chain reaction across the nation. That's how you do it. You take it one bite at a time. See, when you learn to be a shark in a goldfish pond, you learn how to respond faster and attack better. The strongest people are the ones you think are the weakest. It's the outsider that makes a difference. It's the person that does things because they love something. Or are you going to chase the lion and pull the sheep out of its mouth? But you have to be unintimidated in the sight of evil people. You have to be confident. You have to stand tall because you have the armor of God around you. Fearlessness because you know that God wins. Fearlessness because you know that you are more powerful. And they know because it's coming. And nothing, nothing, like nothing. literally. How hard they try. Nothing, nothing can stop.